Okay, so good afternoon once again and welcome to this lesson. It's a continuation about big data. So last week we were able to know the meaning of big data and also the dangers of big data. So now how to avoid the dangers of big data. So we have here four uh, tips. Number one is foundation of some very much shaped digital security. So we discussed already about security. It is very important that our valuable data is secured. In what way? Of course, the company should or must implement a process about how to secure data, their policy, and the, uh, that should be adhered in security law. Aside from this, some of the offices, most of the offices, installed uh, passwords and firewalls for databases in office-based computers. The data privacy law must be uh, clear. No? It should be clear to both parties, the company and the uh, consumer. Another is influencing legitimate implementations to make big data to stand the information insurance law. So in this part, it is very essential to have agreement both between us and the company. It should be uh, covers about agreement, the terms and conditions. So with that, we would able to know our uh, stand about the valuable data that they are collecting from us. Another one is employee experts with some appropriate big data. So employee experts mean to say, a person should be skillful when it comes to technical uh, ability. He should know how to manipulate, to configure, to analyze data. Also, these experts must have the ability to communicate and to explain or communicate, to explain the concepts or technical concepts about this big data. And he must have a strong social skills where he would able to communicate clearly and manage direct our reports. And also, he must have good understanding when it comes to systems that will store data, design, and many others. And lastly, which it is very important that he would know how to analyze statistics. No? This will give the company idea on how to uh, improve their productivity. And number four is the disposition of the information required for the breaking down and capacity. So here, uh, before the company will uh, dispose some of the information, of course, they need backup in order not to lose all of the data. And of uh, they should also consult professional about the regulatory standards of disposing information. So those are inputs or tips on how to avoid the dangers of big data. Now let's proceed to e-signs. E-signs is computationally concentrated or the utilizations measure of informational index. So it goes back to the 1950s when specialists and researchers initially utilized uh, PC as a feature of their exploration procedure. So the term is science was authored in 1999 by John Taylor, the Director General of the UK Office of Science and Technology or OST. It advances development in community information Serious research overall controls in this manner, e-science is utilized to portray computational escalated science, which utilize, uh, utilizes massive informational collections require matrix. Okay, so when we say e-science, it is a computational intensive science. I mean to say it also require grid computing. Grid computing, it's a architecture that combines computer resources from various domains in order to reach the objective. So that's e-science. With e-science, it also a, include algorithm. When we say algorithm, 
race mathematical models or computational models or simul simulations of computers that will develop in order to solve problems. Solve problems in different areas like in science, engineering, and many other aspects. Aside from this, computational science also includes computers. You know? Computers like the hardware and software. We'll know that when we say hardware, physical aspects of a computer like the mouse, the case, the monitor, the CPU, and software are set of instructions that can be stored and run by hardware. So these two must work together. Okay. When a uh, hardware is typically directed by the software to execute a command or instruction. So in order to work harmoniously, these two should come together. So the term computational scientist refers to a person who is experts in computational science. So it describes someone who is skilled in scientific computing. Okay, so those are under a science or computational science okay so that would be all 